Well, down the Gaiety, actually, there's a rehearsal for a show going on at the moment, so we might be in darkness, there might be music going on behind, but uh, catching up with uh, Perry O'Day, uh, a well-known Manx lad who's made good in the UK. You've just come back from a, a big tour, haven't you? Yes, I've uh, just finished this Saturday from uh, the UK tour of Blood Brothers, which... Um, oh, dream, yeah. dream show. Dream, yeah. dream show, dream job. I saw it here when I was 16, and it was the show that made me want to do musical theatre, seeing Stan, Stephen Paulfman do it. Yeah. At 16, I went, yep, that's what I want to be, and I uh, got to do it uh, this year. And, and that was touring up and down the country, was yeah, it? Yeah, up and down, all the way from Bristol to Bridlington, huh. all the way up and down, yeah. Is life hard on the road? It's different, very different living out of a suitcase, yeah. yeah. You've done quite a few shows down in, in the West End, haven't you, as well? Uh, no, I did um, another uh, UK tour, Evita, mm -hmm. which uh, I did last year, and um, I did Panto in Essex, and then, yeah, Blood Brothers, straight after, yeah. Why is it so many people from the Isle of Man seem to have got the bug to take it up now and go and be an actor? Because it's not the easiest career to take. Yeah, it's it's hard, so hard. But there's nothing else like it, and I don't. It must be something in the Isle of Man water because there's so many of us that love performing, and there's so many people that are so good. I mean, obviously there's yeah. Sam and everyone, but even the amateur dramatics here is yeah. incredible. And was it like coming back yeah. to the Gaiety? Uh. It's weird, really <laughs> weird. I've just come off the plane and straight here, and but still, it's one of the beautiful, most beautiful theatres I've ever seen, all down the country. There's, there's lovely ones and there's some grotty ones, but this is, yeah, in the top anyway. Now you've got something on in May in the Isle of Man, you're actually yeah. coming back again? Yeah, I'm uh, coming back again, but this time to do some workshops oh. with a uh, children's casting director called uh, Jo Hawes. Mm -hmm. She's like the uh, leading children's casting director in the West End. She's cast Matilda, Miss Saigon, Chai in the Chocolate Factory, uh, Lion King. She's big big in the west end and she's coming over to do children's workshops uh, audition technique wow for the kids yeah because um that didn't exist in your day did it you know, no that no well that's why i thought yeah. i thought there's great opportunities here but there's a great opportunity to bring mm. someone who could teach the kids to audition because it's all very well good singing dancing and acting but if you can't audition mm. it's you won't get the job and I, I learned that from going to auditions and thinking, oh, what am I not doing right? What can I do? And yeah. it's a whole skill in itself, and I'm bringing her over so the kids can learn oh. from this, yeah. So where can people get more information about that? To book uh, it they can uh, email me at period at manx.net, yeah. or, um, yeah, that's, that's the best the way, way to get information, information yeah. yeah. So uh, life's always about auditioning, isn't it? Once you've got a show, you're always looking for the next one. Yeah. How yeah, are you getting on? Uh, I had an audition yesterday for something later in the year. Uh, Can't say too much, okay. sorry, but... Um, yeah, I had a uh, meet with my agent to touch base because... Oh, I have look at you, agent, <laughs> on it, yeah. Um, I have to say, I remember working with this yeah. guy on an Amdram show many so, years, yeah. years ago, and it's like, um, you've grown up now. Oh, yeah, it's weird. I remember that show very well. <laughs> not not coming on stage at the right time. Like, you <laughs> or me? Me. Oh, yeah. Left us all there. That's yeah. right. I had Big to make mistakes. some lines up. I forgot all about that. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, so I've touched base with them, and they've... Uh, discussed what we want to do next now and more available because I've not they've not had me to be there a hundred percent since I started because I left early to do a beta from Aunt Ted. Right. So they haven't had me there a hundred percent so See, Matt it's quite interesting you got a job before yeah. finishing at our Yeah before the yeah. agent. So I was really lucky. So I rung I rung them up and said oh I'd like to be with you but I've got this job. So yeah. and they were all right great you could do that for six months. But then yeah Great. Well, we'll follow your career. This could be it. But you never know. <laughs> we'll see. But um, what about the filming side of things? You want to do that as well? Are you happy doing stage? Yeah, no, filming as well. We've um, had discussions about any television commercials as well. So just wait to see and wait in here. Yeah. Good.